Are you wondering if you should buy a home with a post and pier foundation or a slab foundation? Hi, I'm Jill Ward with Century 21 Island Homes and welcome to another episode of Aloha Oahu, where today we're gonna to talk about house foundations. In this video, we're going to talk about the two most common types of foundations found on Oahu and the benefits of each one. Yes, my personal opinion is that one foundation type is better than the other. Let's dive in. A foundation style that is prevalent across the island is the post and pier design. Just like the name suggests, a post and pier foundation home is raised anywhere from three or more feet off the ground on posts. Those posts rest on a pier, and that pier then rests on a concrete block footing, sometimes well known as a tofu block. Over the years, building codes have changed and the older homes can be retrofitted so that they are anchored more securely than they used to be. You may ask, why would you want to build this way instead of just laying a concrete slab and putting a house on top of it? One reason that post and pier home building was and is still popular is that it can be more easily built on uneven ground. In order to lay concrete slab, the ground must be level. On some parts of the island, especially those with more rocky terrain or sloped areas, laying a slab is very difficult to do. So post and pier design makes more sense. You can have a home with different length posts underneath if you are on a slope. And even if your terrain is flat, post and pier homes are easier to build. Also, there are some benefits that you do not get with a concrete slab foundation when you build a home a few feet above the ground. A primary benefit is the ease of repairs on a post and pier home. On this type of home, electrical and plumbing run below the home where it can be easily reached from underneath. If you have a main pipe that's leaking underneath your house, the plumber can crawl in underneath, diagnose the problem, and repair it much more easily. For a home built on a concrete slab, plumbing and electrical repairs often require breaking into the foundation or the walls in order to make the repairs, driving up the time to find the problems, as well as driving off your cost in repairs. Another great benefit is that post and pier homes are naturally cooler. We rely on the trade winds to assist in naturally cooling our homes. With a post and pier home, the wind goes below the living areas, which also assists in cooling the home. The increased airflow also helps to reduce mold that can be of concern in our tropical environment. In our tropical climate here on Oahu, we do have to worry about rain and potential flooding. A well-designed post and pier home definitely outperforms a slab home when there are heavy rains. While I've tried to lay out several benefits of the post and pier design, it may not always be the right answer. Depending on how the house is built, a post and pier home may not be able to handle some heavier wall types. Many post and pier homes are made with single wall construction. So if you want a more traditional mainland style home with double wall construction, then a concrete slab might be right for you. When building post and pier homes in the past, it was an economical way to build homes. Minimal concrete was needed. Now, with current building codes, more concrete is required, which has greater economic and environmental costs. So if you're going to buy a home or you already live in a home that has a post and pier foundation, there are many perks to enjoy, including its classic feel. If you should have any additional questions about different styles of homes here on Oahu, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. And if you like this video and want to receive more videos like this one, please make sure you subscribe above. My name is Jill Ward with Century 21 Island Homes. Thank you for watching. Aloha.